Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Sayyid Ali Mardan Azmi. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this lecture, we will discuss exercise 15.2. Question number 24 from Thomas Calculus 12th edition book. The statement of problem is sketch the region of integration and evaluate the integral. The limits of variables are for inner variable y, we have limits 0 to square root of x. For outer variable x, we have limits 1 to 4, and we have to integrate 3 by 2 e raised to power y over square root of x. Here is the explanation function. Before solving this particular question, we must revise the integration of exponential function. If u is some function of x, then for the integration of e raised to power u of x multiplied by derivative of u with respect to x, the answer is e raised to power u of x plus c. What it means, in order to integrate an exponential function, the derivative of its power must be available as a multiplier in the process of integration, which will be absorbed. For example, if we have to integrate e raised to power 2x, then we must create the derivative of its power as a multiplier. So in order to do it, we will multiply with 2 and in order to balance it, we divide it with 2. Then the integration of e raised to power 2x multiplied by 2 will be e raised to power 2x and this c is of constant of integration. We will apply this concept on this particular question. In double integral, we always solve the inner integral first and then on the results of inner integral, we will apply outer integral. For this purpose, we will isolate the inner integral first as 3 by 2 is constant, we can take it outside of both integral. And we are left with limit from 0 to square root of x, e raised to power y, divided by square root of x, dy. Please note that with respect to y, square root of x is constant. So in order to create the derivative of power of exponential function, we can multiply and divide with square root of x. That is, the derivative of power of exponential function, that is the derivative of y over square root of x with respect to y is 1 over square root of x. So we have multiplied with 1 over square root of x and in order to balance it, we multiply with square root of x, this green color set. So that we should have the power of exponential function with its derivative and its multiplier. So in this integral, we have the condition which I have stated in this hint. We have exponential function. We have the derivative of its power as a multiplier. So we can integrate it as e raised to power y over square root of x. So after the process of integration, we have e raised to power y over square root of x, limit from 0 to square root of x. And this square root of x remain as it is. In the next step, we will apply limits by using fundamental theorem of calculus. So we will replace y with square root of x and the upper limit and we will replace y with zero in the lower limit. So after applying the limits, square root of x and square root of x will be canceled out and we have e raised to power one and e raised to power zero is also one. So from this bracket, we have e minus 1. Now this e minus 1 is constant. We can take it outside. And we will integrate x raised to power 1 by 2 for the limits 1 to 4. Now the integration of x raised to power 1 by 2 is straightforward with the help of power method. Its integration is x raised to power 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by 1 by 2 plus 1. Then 1 by 2 plus 1 is 3 by 2. This 3 by 2 and 3 by 2 will be cancelled out and we will apply limits with the help of fundamental theorem of calculus. So we have 4 raised to power 3 by 2 minus 1 raised to power 3 by 2. Simplifying it, 4 raised to power 3 by 2 is 8. 1 raised to power 3 by 2 is 1. So we have 7 into e minus 1. In the second part, we have to sketch the region of integration. In order to plot the region of integration, we need boundaries, and these boundaries come from the limiting values of the variable. The limiting value of y are 0 and square root of x. So we have similarly the limiting values of x are 
1 to 4. So we have from the outer limits x equal to 1, x equal to 4, y equal to 0 and y is equal to square root of x. x equal to 1 is an equation of vertical line. x equal to 4 is an equation of vertical line. y equal to 0 is the equation of x axis and y is equal to square root of x is the portion of parabola which is symmetric about x axis open rightward in the first quadrant. So in the process of sketching, first of all, we have plotted x axis and y axis. And then as our region will be in our first quadrant, so I have plotted this equation y is equal to square root of x as a part of the parabola in the first quadrant. Then our region of integration is highlighted as yellow color, which is actually the boundary region of all the boundaries y equal to 0, y equal to square root of x, x equal to 1, and x equal to 4. Thank you so much for your attention.